this I can't I can't with myself <laughs> yeah and the quality of this one is so trash this background music y'all I can't I have to hey you guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is one that I've never done before I'll be reacting to some of my oldest videos here on YouTube and kind of talking through just like reliving those moments where I was in my life at the time that I made the videos and all of that so stay tuned to this video to see the oldies and how far we've come all right so my first oh gosh my first video on YouTube ever which to I will say I did have a YouTube for like two seconds before this channel it was hacked at the time and okay it says six years ago on this first video so six years ago I was going through something so uh, yeah this is basically my reintroducing I guess of my new channel which was this channel hi tumblr this is jade um okay so i'm a little frustrated right now um actually you know what i was frustrated for about two seconds but now i'm over it because i just thought about it like why should i be frustrated right now um if you're wondering this is my new youtube um it's x love divine just like my tumblr um what the heck is going on with my brows first off what is happening here uh, was Love Divine Tumblr and um, some amazing person decided to hack it and um, delete it. So um, that happened today. I have an attitude. Wow. To re-upload all of my videos and um, so y'all will not like not miss them I guess. Um, so y'all can still have them to watch in reference to and also I wanted to make the I sound so Texan like I can just tell and hear it in my voice more than I am now but um, I sound very Texan southern girl in this video for sure hey everybody what's up okay so I know it's been a while since I've I filmed this on my <laughs> Mac of a computer camera which is why the quality is so trash talk about something that mm, people ask me to do a video about, so I'm about to do it. Oh, I hate that intro. I hate, pause, I hate when people say, I'm gonna do this video because everybody told me to do this video. Like, that's literally how I opened it up. <sighs> Jade, no. <laughs> I hate that. Just your overall, you know, vibe and demeanor is based off of confidence. So yeah, I feel like that's an incredibly important thing to know and to try to understand about yourself if you don't already know, if you don't have enough confidence or you think that you are need, you know, help in that category, which we all do at times. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, I'm 100% confident in who I am and I'm always, you know, on it 100%. I'm not going to sit here and say that because no one is perfect and we all have our low moments. But the way that we bounce back is the important thing and the way that we learn from our mistakes and learn from our experiences is the also the other important thing. So, first first things first is, you know, knowing your worth. Um, a lot of people don't understand how valuable they are. You know, we all are here for a reason. We all have a purpose. And, you know, for us to, to you know, put ourselves in low points or demise ourselves and, you know, say, well, I'm not going to get any better than this, so I'll just deal with it. I'm, like, really impressed with myself right now because I honestly don't remember I don't know I guess not necessarily don't remember how I was back then this is six years ago this was my second year in college I was this is fall semester so 2010 2010 yeah 2000 no yes 2010 I don't even remember why I made this video I don't know what you know prompted me to do this I remember filming it honestly I remember filming it but I don't remember what I said or anything, but it's so crazy that I'm saying a lot of the same things that I say now back then. And I know that this was when I started really appreciating and understanding what self-love was and started that journey of self-discovery was around the time that I made this video. So this is crazy. It's, it's all still very true. So let's go to the next video though. Um, 
this is a great one. I need to watch this whole thing. It's 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and link all these videos down below in case you guys want to uh, watch them or rewatch them since it's been a while. Um, and then I'll also put them in this video with the cards, you know, the little eye. I'll do that too. Curly hair products. Okay, let's, let's watch this one. Six years ago, you guys. Six years ago. What was I talking about six years ago? Oh my gosh, this intro. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Okay, so now hey, I'm, I'm going to show y'all <laughs> what I use for my curly hair. And um, these are the products that I've been using most recently. Where are my brows, though? Oh, they're so small. <sighs> I've been sticking to a few really, really nice products that work really, really well for my hair. Um, my hair is just... It, is, it has a mind of its own. Um, sometimes it wants to curl, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes... This is because my hair was hella damaged back then. This is my most... This is like the, when I first started transitioning to my curls. First, let me start from conditioners. Um, conditioners, that's one thing that I say, if you have curly hair, um, invest in a really 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 good conditioner yeah um, and plus uh, I would definitely do whatever you do, do get con uh, conditioner for me since I have kind of a lot of hair um, I have to get the big bottles because they last me longer even though it's a little bit more expensive um, I have to do that because I use a lot a lot of concealer I mean concealer <laughs> yeah, I'm still thinking of my last video of conditioner sorry guys um, so yeah, what I've been using the most lately, I think I've talked about, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but uh, is the Curl Moisturizing for Curly or Wavy Hair Professional Formula Conditioner Flawless Curls by Tresemme. Ooh, I used to love this stuff, Tresemme Curls Conditioner, so good. It's cheap, it's like $4, and it's a lot, and that's what I like to get a lot for my money and it work it works really really good because I've used higher end um, conditioners that don't work as well as this as this like I think I use catwalks um, curl oh my gosh y'all remember catwalk oh my gosh wait I don't know if y'all are like OG's on YouTube you would have remembered like I think Taryn guy I think Taryn was the first person I saw use the uh, catwalk curl something. It was like a cream and everybody used to rave about it and then it just fell off. I don't know anybody who uses that catwalk. I think it was like big hair, big sexy hair, I think was the brand of that that product. Who remembers that? And Max for like $10 and um, I mean, it worked all right. It was real thick, which I like that it was really, really thick. But at the same time, it didn't do wonders for me. And honestly, I didn't really like the smell that much. I don't like really, really strong smells. Um, this one, this uh, Tresemme one, doesn't have that strong of a smell. Why do I sound so Texan, though? My accent is heavy. Um, silicone mix. Do y'all remember silicone mix? That used to be... A, a, a must have for me be, but at the same time now that I think about it like it's silicone in there so it probably did more for the look and feel of my hair versus actually being healthy for your hair like actually like doing what you wanted to do you know but it made your hair super soft and super shiny so I'll give it that Dominican at all I'm not Hispanic whatsoever but I look at hair texture and curl pattern rather than ethnicity because a lot of times you know ethnic people we don't have we, you don't have to have you know oh this is black hair white hair or not white hair but black hair you know his that is so funny because my hair was trash my hair was so trash back then Ugh. okay let's do um Oh, okay, this is one that got so many views. Um, it was my hair growth tips video. And let's see. Hey guys, okay, so um, I've gotten so many like requests to do um, how I grow my hair. Um, I feel like that it's a good um, way to start off oh like, doing a series of videos. Not Jodeci in the background and, though. Um, y'all are curious so I'm gonna let y'all know because I feel like I've like found like awesome techniques to grow your hair because last year this time um, my hair was like up here literally up here 
and I was so nervous in this video like you could just tell that I'm not the same now <laughs> that I am here and oh my gosh had I had gotten um track sewn in to the bottom half of my hair to where it was like you know, this was actually filmed in my that same year my sophomore year in college and in my bathroom um, and, yeah, uh, and I used to slay my hair back then too. I got it redone like right after, so it was like a good month or two months that I had the hair in. And um, I realized after I got it um, taken out after the second month, my hair was really, really thick that had grown in. Um, it was longer, it was just thicker, and I was like, wow, like if I could keep my hair braided for like six months, like I bet my hair would be crazy long. Um, but I was like, of course, I'm not going to do that. I'm not gonna put braids in my hair for six months, so um, or get like a full head of weave. That's not happening. So I decided that I was gonna try. To I said um so much back then. I remember people used to comment on my videos all the time, like, "Can you not say um so much?" And I feel like I've worked on that the past few years of not saying um so much, but I still say like every other word. So I feel as though I'm just never gonna get out of that. The like word it just is my vernacular it's my vocabulary it's the way that I take a pause in my brain to think about what else I'm gonna say or explain something so yeah I think that I do good with with not saying um as much though and so I just got for like two minutes a day or two times two minutes a day something like that yeah and the quality of this one is so trash and honestly I don't even want to sit here and watch myself like I am boring like I feel like I'm boring in this video um, I was deep conditioning every week. I was just, I was doing wash and goes. I stopped using shampoo until, like, what the heck? This background music, y'all, I can't. I have to, I can't. I can't with myself. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay. Moving on to the next video. Uh, let's see what else. Let's do college. Which I think I'm going to do another video about college like really soon. I want to do like a things that I wish I knew before college type of video. So let's watch this one real fast. Hey everyone, what's up? Alright, so I've been asked to do kind of a um, college. Still on that same MacBook. <laughs> to do this video with me. Y'all, this is, I'm going to pause this. I filmed this video the fall semester of my junior year and this was like the year that I fully came into like my own as far as a person, as far as being a student leader on campus. This is the year, actually this is the semester that I pledged Delta. Uh, I was president of an organization during this year. I was in so many other different organizations. I was creating a program at my university that still goes on to this day. And um, yeah, so I was definitely in my prime when I filmed this video. I don't have really that many adult responsibilities. So you can go out, you really have no obligations unless you know you have children or something like that. Um, but you can go out, you can have fun and enjoy life and enjoy being young and you know do crazy things that you know you can live to tell your grandkids about but there is a but okay and i used to have that kim k hair like that like that loose curl wave that was my style before these curls or i don't have curls in right now but before i used to wear my hair curly this was my style like that whole year and a half this was like 2011 with your friends instead of study. Um, there's a lot of cool things going on on campus, a lot of cool people that you'll meet, new friends that you'll make, and uh, depending on what kind of crowd you're in, it may be easier or harder for you to really sit down and be like, I need to study because I want you guys to know that this is not high school. Um, a lot of us can get through high school and literally never study, ace everything. That's how I was. I didn't study for anything hardly. And I made awesome grades, gone to college, yes. But I did learn as I've gone through, I'm going into my third year of college, that you have to study. 
you have to take yourself to the library and actually sit down and go over notes take notes in class they will actually help you um you know remember pay attention to the syllabus that your teachers give you in the beginning of the course because they go by that syllabus and a lot of times a lot of stuff that uh, is important will be in there and things that you'll need to reference back to throughout the semester so their email policies their grading policies which is something you should be looking at um, that is so funny okay so since we're talking about college stuff I'm gonna hit um, this update slash big news video that I did five years ago this is five years ago and I hadn't been on YouTube for like a hot second because of what I was announcing in this video. <laughs> well, kind of not really, but just for an update video so you guys can know why I have been absent. Um, I've been getting tons of messages about asking where my where I am and like what's going on and that you know where are the videos and can you you know give a tutorial on this can you do that and um let me just explain you know what has been going on with me so this semester of course i am going to school i'm in college i am working i am you know doing my organizations that i'm involved with on campus and on top of that um i also joined a sorority this semester by uh, this past semester i am now a member of delta Aww, Delta sorority this is so yes i am a delta Aww. and i just crossed this past fall Aww. and it's been awesome i love it i love my sisters i love my chapter i'm positive y'all i'm getting a little emotional right now because this was such a great time in my life like when i pledged delta and began the sisterhood and the relationships that i have with those women in my chapter and beyond it was such a fulfilling experience that i am always going to be so grateful for i was able to grow so much from learning from those women, from learning from the experiences that I had with them and on campus and just that time in my life, everything was popping. Like it was, everything was going on. Everything was crazy and amazing. And we were strutting or strolling in some parts, y'all call it strolling. Uh, we were strolling all over the place. My line was, the ish like we thought we were just the best thing since sliced bread okay you could not tell us a thing uh and we were a big line too it was 25 of us so we were just too much for our own selves <laughs> people used to really like low-key hate us because we would roll up to places and just demand everyone's attention but at the same time like we would beef with everybody like if you didn't respect us or if you didn't like I don't know like we were just ready to pop off at any moment but at the same time though we were running like every organization on campus like we were literally the presidents and vice presidents of everything and had our hands in everything and it made people mad it made people a little mad but i can just say it was the time of my life it was so much fun and um i wish i would have gotten more of uh, maybe even like vlogs or just ex like just talking about what was happening at that time I was so busy with the school and stuff that I didn't really upload that much on YouTube during that period of time so my videos are kind of sporadic after that and it wasn't until probably I graduated two years later that I actually started dedicating way more time to my YouTube channel and actually uploading on a consistent basis but during this time Y'all, I was living life. I was I was out here just, just, I don't know, just having a good time and enjoying college and stuff. So, oh my gosh, the video I did about coconut oil, my goodness, five years ago. Wow. Okay, let's, let's, let's watch the update spring 13 video. What was going on? This is four years ago. I think this was my senior year in college. Let's see. Hey everyone, what's going on? I know, I know it's been 
so long since I've uploaded a video and it's because my life has just been craziness like it's just been one thing after another and you know I think about it I'm like dang I really need to post a video I haven't posted anything in a while and then I just never my hair is laid though what my hair is laid <laughs> didn't like how they looked and um it's just been a i don't know a weird time for me but i do have footage this was also another video on my laptop computer uh, my little macbook camera <laughs> a the ulta brand and um i'll be posting that so you guys will be able to actually see kind of like what it looks like five or six weeks after i've been using it uh, periodic oh this is when I was talking about my skin so during this time too because you know college is just like so much going on I was not taking care of my skin and my skin was changing so I was super oily because I was stressed a lot so I was super oily then I wasn't really using great skincare products and I was over cleansing which created more oil and I had tons of breakouts and stuff so that's what I'm talking about Makeup is a wonderful That's what I'm talking about in this video. Um, I have been making quite a bit of progress when it comes to my skincare. Um, outside of that, I never posted an update. BT dubs. I never posted an update. <laughs> Get on here and film. Um, I'm, you know, usually randomly taking pictures. You know, Instagram is so easy because it's just so available and convenient. So, yeah. Um, outside of that, I'm getting ready to graduate soon. So that's really been my focus lately is like really looking at my future and seeing like, Dang, I've been posting on Instagram for five years. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh, it is. This is 2012. So makes sense. Or 2013, spring 13. So I made my Instagram in 2012. Okay, Jay, like, where are you about to be in a few months? So, real life is scary, but I just recently went to this conference, um, and that really kind of refocused, helped me refocus real and life is scary. get re-motivated on working towards what I want to do with my life and getting my stuff together and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need like a re-up on energy, on why we're passionate about something or why we're pursuing a goal. Because sometimes, especially when they're like really, really long-term goals and really may seem far-fetched at one time kind of goals, um, we can kind of get distra distracted or discouraged on our journey towards what we want to do but it's always important to kind of reevaluate continuously reevaluate what you're doing and, and making sure that you're in it for the right reasons and all that kind of stuff so definitely been learning like a lot of lessons within the past month I think I've learned a lot just about you know career searching and like sticking to a plan and being you know putting myself out there in the best and most you know professional light and things like that so that's been a journey for sure with all of the ups and downs that it has brought but things are on the up and up so i will keep you guys updated um i know that my i would have never known at this time that I'd be doing what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna throw that out there. The fact that I'm doing what I'm doing right now and watching this video is kind of freaky because when I first posted this video, I thought and had plans to go to grad school right after I graduated, uh, to work in higher education and to be an administrator basically. And I already had like an idea of where I wanted my career to go. And so to watch this knowing that you know, in a few months from this video, I'm going to be doing another video talking about how everything basically fell apart and how I have to get through a year of kind of uh, limbo between undergrad and grad school to then fast forwarding to being in grad school and, and lipstick and curls really popping off and then now here I am making videos for you guys um, every week 
and working with brands that I never thought I'd be able to work with, doing things that I never thought that I would do. Um, I never thought that this reality was ever going to be mine. I, I could not even fathom it. At this time, at this time, I was so in a different headspace. Uh, I was really optimistic yet overwhelmed at the same time which a lot of people feel like your senior year in college is like the time to really like get your life together and figure out what you're going to do when you graduate that was kind of like the headspace I was at so I was doing a lot of professional development at this time I was trying to talk to the right people do the right things work the right internships to set myself up and um there were some bumps in the road after this video, a lot of them, and uh, I'm just really grateful and thankful that I made it to this point. And it's really a special thing to be able to go watch those videos and see where I was and remember what was going on at that time in my life. And now looking at what I have and what I do and who I'm with and the people that are around me now versus then, and it's just it's just crazy how life works out so wow that was crazy um yeah um <laughs> i'm kind of speechless now because i'm feeling like hella introspective now and just thinking about uh, everything that happened after this time frame and um and i feel like i need to do a whole nother video of like the second you know the second set of years the the from then till now uh, because I could literally go on and on and on about that time in my life five six years ago to this time of my life right now from the period between the five and six years ago till now like there was like a two to three year period where like stuff was really really crazy for me and super just all over the place um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want me to go more in depth. This is kind of like all over the place a little. It feels that way. But if you want me to go more in depth about different aspects of the past few years that I've gone through, um, about life, about love, about friendships, about professional stuff, about, you know, building my own brand and, and building my career now, uh, how I started, like for real, for real started, um, more in depth because I think I just glazed over a lot of stuff. But you guys let me know. I'd love to do videos about that stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will see you in my next one. Bye.